trash. <laughs> All right. Do you know what's going on with the check your trash event? Yeah. All right, so. Carrying all my trash? <laughs> yep. This should be perfect. Hopefully, maybe I'll downgrade to a smaller one, too. Ooh, <laughs> that's ambitious. trash that cannot be composted or recycled in the zero sort recycling system. Okay. So at the end of the week on Friday at lunch, you can bring your bags back and we'll weigh them and see how much waste you actually produce. Okay, I want to try this. It sounds like it'll actually be interesting. All right. <laughs> so at the end of the week, we can weigh your bag and see if you correctly guessed your weight of trash well, that you produce. 2.87 pounds a day and I'm collecting it for a week, people are supposed to have like 10 pounds of trash on there. Yeah. Is that, the, is that the point? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> are you aware of our waste goals here? Not at all. <laughs> do you know what our waste goals are as a college? This guy. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Yeah, in a general sense. Uh, we have some specific goals right here. So, what did you learn from trekking your trash this week? Um, I learned that uh, I have uh, improved my, um, the way that I, you know, look at my waste. Um, basically, I learned that I, you know, I have changed over the years on, you know, what I throw away and what I don't. I'm definitely composting more, recycling more. Um, learned, um, well, it just made me reconsider what I was putting in the bag of what was trash and what was compostable and what was recyclable. I learned that... Yeah. Down and just your There's lots of <laughs> <laughs> that can't be recycled or composted, but it still exists out there and it's sad. So I found out that most of my waste is created from food waste, from food packaging. I learned that every little bit of trash accumulates, which is obvious, but I noticed how much little trash really accumulates in a small amount of time, which is five days. And um, it's interesting to see how one person can make such a large impact. I didn't track my trash, but I tracked my compost okay. to, the, to the chickens. and. I hope that the chickens enjoyed it. Some good, some good bell peppers in there. Some avocados, you know, yes. avocado course. So, just recycling the nutrients, renutrating the earth. Classic Green Mountain College. I tried really, really hard, hard throughout the whole entire week not to use, not to have any waste whatsoever, which didn't work out at all. But um, I just learned that even the little things count. <laughs> even the like, Q-tips count. A lot of Q-tips. I know this study used a lot of Q-tips, and I've actually started cutting back on them. Hopefully that'll you know make a little impact of anything. But um, I don't know. Just the little things count. So. Yeah. So this week during Trek Your Trash, um, I had to indulge in a couple of pints of Death by Chocolate ice cream, <laughs> but I found a way to repurpose that by um, planting um, seedlings in it and transplanting some plants. Oh, cool. So reuse, reduce my trash. Awesome. <laughs> I learned that Nicole isn't so hot that we all can do it. Um, Ouch. And yeah, be sustainable. It's not that hard. That I need to eat healthier. I it definitely you make you think of twice about using something or throwing something away because you have to you know, have it in your bag with you. So all I, of my stuff is recyclable. Twice. Like all the stuff that I threw in could be recycled, and I probably throw it in the trash usually. And I didn't really think about that because most of the stuff just goes in the garbage can right next to my bed when I could be putting it somewhere else to recycle it. Like every single thing should be going into the zero sort, but it's not. So. Ah, I learned that I use about as much, I create about as much waste as I thought. And most of that's from paper towels. Um, 
but uh, yeah, it's definitely made me really conscious of yeah. distributing all my waste. I, was, I thought it was, uh, first of all, pretty interesting to realize that sometimes we produce waste and we don't really think about it. So for example, I was consuming candy and other food here on campus and I didn't realize that I was producing that waste. And then I was carrying that waste with me. I was like, wow, I'm actually, I need to carry that. So that was sort of uncomfortable to me. So I thought twice uh, before consuming the food, like the candy, the chocolate. So it was a pretty uh, a wake up call for me. Where do you think you create the most waste in your life? Your normal? Honestly, in the classroom. In the classroom? Yeah. So like papers and stuff yeah, like that? I do a lot of schoolwork. So. Like, uh, I print a lot of stuff for readings and things like that. Okay, okay. I think I create the most waste. Um, gosh, I don't know. I make, uh, for my job, I make a lot of copies. Mm, I think um, when I collect plastic bags, um, there's not many places to recycle plastic bags. So, yeah. Probably in food packaging. Mm. Probably food packaging, especially living on the cap floor, like and having to have, like you know, like hundred dollars of groceries every week. Like that's probably definitely where most of it comes from. But I mean, I don't know. Like I try and avoid like the plastic packaging as much as I can. Usually, like if I can get something in a box or in a glass, like I'll do that instead. But like even most things that are in boxes have plastic on the inside. Yeah. So it's really like. Yeah. I, I use a lot of paper. Okay. And, and then like notes and stuff it's like you don't even need the paper anymore so it's just like go away and then uh, i think a lot of the stuff that i cook has packaging and stuff which is not necessarily recyclable bags snacks and stuff uh -huh. but like a lot of that kind of like boxes can be recycled like chips yeah and candy wrappers Sure. Waxy cups. I have cocoa pebbles. I have a candy wrapper to Valentine's Day candy. I have a Snickers bar wrapper. I paper. Paper. A whole lot of paper. Yeah. I write on paper a lot. I have sweet tarts wrappers and I have soda um, cans. Paper, like school papers, stuff like that. Uh, trying to shift around and organize everything for classes. I think a lot of it is electronic, mm. um, especially because a lot of the items that are now being made are, can't be really fixed or end up being too expensive to fix. And I have um, chocolate bars and Hershey's wrappers and Hershey kisses and Dove chocolate. But I think food. Definitely food. Thing. Apples, yeah. pizza, like when you don't finish food. The whole thing is just candy and junk food and chips. There's chips in there. <laughs> um, yeah, it's bad. Processed food. Processed food? Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I do better. I only have a toothbrush. It's like an old toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> and she brushes her teeth. It was a recycled toothbrush. It was made of old yogurt. Wow. Yeah. Hello. Um, I definitely create the most waste in just the plastic things that things are put inside, uh, like grocery bags or toothpicks specifically. Toothpicks and mints are like the biggest creators of waste in my life because they all come in this little plastic thing and they build up. And I take like seven of these a day, so that builds up too. <laughs> in general, I would say probably my bathroom, <laughs> which is kind of gross, but <laughs> like Q-tips, tissue, uh, yeah, in general, cotton balls. Definitely just What's like up, things like food that's wrapped in plastic and like it's like wrapped in plastic, wrapped in plastic. And Which like yeah. if I were living on my own and had my own greenhouse and had my own like one acre farm that I was sustaining <laughs> on, like you know in like 20 years when that happens, like that won't be the case. But for now, yeah. Now that I'm like bound to co-ops and grocery stores, yeah, poor that's the life. <laughs> like containers maybe, plastic containers that could be used for another purpose like salad containers and things like that that you could possibly throw some food in maybe reuse it as a Tupperware once or twice because you don't want to reuse it too much because it could be bad and start leaching into whatever you put in there but uh, not using so I use a planner as a notebook now okay. for the leftover pages so I'm trying to save paper in a way or use it That's all pretty good if it's produced use it I'm still dropping, dropping.